Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video I want to talk about the new Walry spells that got teased over on Cam's live stream yesterday. He basically showed all of these spells that you obviously get from Walru, and they're now going to have a path B. So if you log into Live Realm right now, you'll see the Walru spells, for example, bunny up on my Storm Wizard. It only has one path, and that's the damage path. However, Cam actually teased more paths to the top path and a brand new path B. So we'll be looking at the path B in the video today and before i even get into translating the hieroglyphs and what does what and what's good and what's not i do want to say the bottom paths are going to function differently so it functions like the mirage spells where it splits between the opponent or you can choose to do it on only one person for more damage okay so yeah we're going to start off with the storm one and i'm going to go ahead and throw that up on screen for you guys to look at right away here now the storm one is actually pretty pretty interesting i think this card has the potential to be like an s tier heal counter however right now i just think it's kind of undervalued and i talked to already in the dms and he agreed it's kind of undervalued so uh hopefully we'll see a buff to this one now you're probably like okay liam i need you to translate these hieroglyphs for me because i don't speak whiz language okay so basically this is going to do 745 and then it's going to clear two heals on the opponent. And then the opponent opponent is going to get a negative aura that puts minus 25% incoming that is on for four rounds. So basically I can, you know, cast the bunny up, hit, clear like a triton. But instead of getting the blades back, I'm actually going to put a debuff aura on them that affects their, you know, incoming, outgoing and whatnot. So I think this is a good way to counter healing and also to like move the game forward and you know get tempo in a way that's not really counterable because if you do this card the life is gonna have to do something else aside from heal and like you know pivot their strat or you know engage with the system and try to kill their opponent they can't just sit there and stall and heal i'm a little concerned that the heal debuff is a little weak right we've seen in the previous jade metas life wizards have no problem healing through infections so i would like to see the aura bumped up to maybe at least 60 percent so the life wizards aren't incentivized to just heal through them okay now the fire one now cam said this one is supposed to operate like troll but basically for heals so basically you're gonna hit and then activate the heal on yourself and then clear up to three traps for i assume 25 percent buffs so this is a trap counter but also a way to like activate a heal now i think this is honestly probably one of the worst cards because Typically, activating a heal is just not a good idea. You want to keep them on you to leverage them. Also, there's just way, way better trap counters in general in the game. So, I don't really see any Fire Wizard running this or any other school for that matter. Next up, we have Zand the Bandit, which is the life one. This one is going to hit and then put up to two 70% Storm Blades on yourself, depending on how many hots you have. Maximum two. So, if I have two heals on me, right, let's say I do a berry surprise and I cast Ascend the Bandit, I will get two 70 Stormblades back, which I think is pretty cool. This is identical to Stormlord Spellament, but it's actually way cheaper on pips. So honestly, it might not be a bad card. Kind of reminds me of Catch of the Day in a way, but just a lot better. Next up, we have the probably one of the most complicated cards ever put into the Wiz card game. Uh, Rainbow Serpent, I think this card is also going to be really overpowered by the way. Uh, it's going to hit and then put a 60% Chromatic Blade on you and a 60%, I assume, 60% Chromatic Weakness on the opponent per heal on the opponent. So if I bury and they cast this, it's going to nuke me, give them two buffs back and put two weaknesses on me and I will keep my heals presumably. So I think this card is just really, really OP. I want to say that just because the amount of tempo you get from it and the actual like percentage on it. I'm not sure other schools are going to run this because it's just like so pip intensive with like the storm pip, you know, the, uh, you know, death pip and then like all the balance pips you're going to need. So 
This is probably going to be one of the best healer counters on balance. Balance wizards are going to have to run Sabertooth, Serpent, and now Clockwork just to counter heals. So I think balance may be a really good school against healing schools now. Uh, in the past week one, week two of Test Realm, that's the one thing that could counter balance was actually healing strats. But um, now I think they just kind of are back to having everything again, unfortunately. So we might see balance make its way to be a top tier school again because they don't really have a weakness. Okay, next up we have the Ice spell. This is basically what the old Colossus was for Ice. It's gonna hit and then gambit three shields on yourself for 50% myth traps on the opponent. Now, this is meant to incentivize dual schooling and honestly, maybe you might see myth run it, right? Because you would gambit shields on yourself to really buff up yourself. And I don't see an ice ever really using myth traps. So I think this card is probably one of the worst ones again within the update. Next up, we have the myth card and it's a really broken card again. I don't know why they just can't give myth stuff that isn't broken every update, but here we are. It's gonna clear four shields and then put on, I assume multiple OTs on the opponent and then hit. So. It's basically like a Minotaur, but you're actually like clearing shields and then doing a big hit. This is one of those cards that are again, only gonna be good on myth. Unfortunately, I think Minotaur is still gonna be the best shield counter universally and that's still five pips. So uh, shield gambits still are gonna be a problem. Now the death one, you're gonna hit and then clear three blades on the opponent for three universal shields. So just again, a really really good blade counter i think this is gonna have to be the best blade counter now this probably won't be as broken as banshee was because you actually have you know an ice pip in there and you need more pips so i don't think every school is going to be running it so again it's a lot more reasonable of a blade counter and pretty much only death can use it effectively so i think that's pretty cool so i would say the three best spells of this update are probably going to be the myth spell the death spell and the balance spell, which I find a little strange because the past eight months, those are the top three only playable schools in the game. And they now got the three best cards as of this new Walru spring, whatever update. I really think the fire one could use a change. I think the ice one is really bad. And I think the storm one is just simply undervalued and maybe the life one could work. We'll have to see. Uh, about that life one but yeah that's everything guys let me know what you think about this in the comments below i think it's pretty cool in my opinion i assume we're gonna see another week of test realm and then probably live realm i think it's kind of soon for things to go live what do you guys think of the cards let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys on the next one thank you for watching and take care